what is up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we got our best beginner's guide for diablo immortal subscribe to the channel thumbs up this video today is global launch one day early for mobile pc users will be able to play tomorrow first thing i want you to do is go over to your settings and you are going to go to general and auto pickup now when you first start the game off all of these are unchecked so make sure you come in here do auto pickup items for everything normal magic rare it doesn't matter you literally want to pick everything up because even when you get to later game you can go ahead and you can sell the normal gear and the magic gear you don't want to have to go around and have to constantly click the pickup button next you're going to go over to controls you're going to change it from the default which is small to large Thank me later because this will help you out so much. Making the mini map larger, you'll be able to see more. So that way you can see if there are elite monsters or legendary monsters around. Next up, when you get to the point where you hit these level walls and you can't progress any further in the main story quest, the best way to level up is going to be your battle pass. You get a ridiculous amount of XP once you level up the battle pass every time. So all you gotta do is go in here and just do all these missions. Look, I got all these quests. You got complete dungeons, kill monsters, gain a bunch of hilt. Not only will you increase your battle pass level, but there are some quests in here as well. You'll see that will give you some platinum. So right here it says advanced and complete battle pass activities. And then aside from leveling up your battle pass to get XP, you can go ahead and go to the bounty board to get some more XP. But more importantly, a really good way to get gold. You'll see at the bottom right here, these bounty chests, they contain a decent amount of gold. So every time you do a certain amount of bounties, you'll get one of these treasure chests that is just filled with gold. Also, you can go ahead and you can refresh or trade in these quests. You'll see right here, if you click that top right corner, you don't like a quest, just get rid of it. Some of the quests that uh, say to, to collect a certain amount of resources, like 12 or 15, aren't necessarily going to be faster than say something that's like kill 60 monsters because the drops are different. So like it's actually easier to uh, destroy like 50 or 60 monsters as opposed to the other quests where it's like uh, collect like 20 feathers that drop from an enemy because it doesn't always happen, right? You might end up actually killing more monsters to get those items to drop for that bounty quest. Next thing you want to be on the lookout for is your legendary items. More importantly, the legendary effects. You're going to come across a bunch of legendary items. Some of them are going to be good. Some of them are going to be bad. But more importantly, you want to keep all legendaries, even if they are low level. More importantly, because you want to look out for the legendary effect that it has, because you can go ahead and you can transfer that legendary effect over to another legendary item you have so let's say you get like a level 55 legendary item but it has a crap effect but you get a legendary uh item that's like a level 5 or 10 early game has a really good effect but you know it's low level so you can go ahead and you can just transfer that really good effect to the other legendary item so that is why it is very important to keep all of your legendary items go ahead throw them in storage until you need them um this is uh very debatable but what i've personally heard is the best combination of crests is to use two rares and one legendary uh if you use this combination you have a better chance to get like a, a legendary gem to drop like two legendary gems to drop as opposed to just one uh because the legendary crest is always going to give you one legendary gem um, the rares are kind of like a chance you may or may not get it but with this combination supposedly you can get like two legendaries to drop um, not all the time it's not all the time but probably one out of three times you'll get two legendary gems to drop with this combination in west march there is a little guy right here in this top right corner you see this little icon right here he is the hilt trader you go ahead and you give him hilt for a bunch of different rare materials, rare items. For 1600 hilt, you also have stuff like mystery legendary items. You can go ahead right here. This is your legendary gem that you can buy. Normal gems. Uh, there's just a variety of things. But early game, you can go ahead and you can get another legendary gem 
uh, basically for free. It, it costs 1600 hilt, but you know, that's easy. Uh, but you know, if you're free to play and you don't have access to a lot of those legendary crests, this is a good way to get a legendary gem and then go ahead and buy a legendary crest again for 1600 hilt. And that is it for today, folks. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Stay happy, stay safe, my friends. We got a bunch more stuff to cover in this game. Peace.